States Air Force Officer Madison Marsh making history after being the first active duty service member to be crowned Miss America. 22-year-old Madison has been flying since she was 15 years old. She's had her pilot license before even entering the Air Force Academy. She's now representing this country in a big way. She's a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, getting a master's degree in public policy at Harvard's Kennedy School. She's launched a charity for pancreatic cancer, a cause that is very close to her heart after her mother died from the disease in 2018. Madison Marsh, Miss America 2024, joins us. Thanks so much well, for being thanks here. So much Appreciate for having it. Me. All right, so congratulations. And how do you combine mm. uh, competing for Miss America mm. while serving in the Air Force? I think on the outside, people see the military and pageants as something that has to be separate. But to me, pageants and the Air Force focus on education. They focus on service. They focus on leadership. And so I see all of the ways that they perfectly combine one with one another that you don't really see from like the outside perspective. How did you decide? I mean, I understand, you know, people deciding to enter pageants, et cetera. How did you decide to join the Air Force? So I went to space camp a long, long time ago, and I met a bunch of really amazing astronauts. And so I looked at the best way that they got their jobs. And really, it was uh, becoming a fighter pilot or going to in some sort of military pilot route. And the best place to do that is by going to the Air Force Academy. You were a dorky space camp kid? Yes, no I went to way. space camp That's several awesome. times. I, <laughs> space camp is like my home. I love space camp. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, is it true you're also a black belt in type? I mean, like it's almost like impossible to believe like all the stuff that you're like a real person you're a, <laughs> you're, a, you're a black belt in taekwondo too so that was i did that like a really long time ago so i wouldn't say i'm like practicing at all now but i did get it oh my gosh i don't even know how long ago it was it was way back in but the it's day. true yes wow all right let's talk about now you're at the harvard kennedy school very yes. prestigious uh school um any thoughts on what's happening at harvard with all the business happening with the administration and the change with the president there etc you know, I'm just really lucky with all the professors that I've gotten to be with, because the whole reason I wanted to go to Harvard is for my nonprofit the Pan for pancreatic cancer, the Whitney Marsh Foundation. And so this entire past year, I've really just been diving into my studies, combining with the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute and my background in medicine, uh, the research that I've done with them, and how it applies to policy. So all of my professors have really poured into what I want to do, and it's just been a really fantastic experience, and I've had a lot of positive interaction with my professors, and I'll be excited to get back to school once I give up my title next year. Yeah, you're probably not supposed to get into particularly controversial issues, is my guess, yeah. right? I, I would yes. think, as Miss, <laughs> as Miss America, they say to you, look, stay away from the, you know, politics. Although I would think you might consider some sort of career in politics mm -hmm. later. You're at the government, you're at the, uh, the, the Kennedy School of Government. Would you consider a a job in politics down the road? You know, right now I'd say I'm really focusing on my Air Force career because they've given me so many amazing opportunities that I wouldn't have gotten elsewhere, and I want to make sure that I spend the time pouring into my leadership serving our country. Um, but I think as far as politics go, I really want to stay in the pancreatic cancer realm afterwards. And of course, there's going to be some times when I cross paths of trying to come up with legislation in the best way that we take care of our patients here in America, because everyone deserves a chance to live. And I want to give the life that my mom had to other people. Well said. You know, it was funny. I was, gonna, I was thinking about asking you about, like, you know, are you Republican, Democrat? Do you have anyone support? You can't answer these questions. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even going to put you in that position okay. of, having, of, having, yeah. of having to answer this. Let me ask you a different kind of question. Talk to me about a day in the life in the Air Force, all right? Mm. So before you were at um, going to the Kennedy Center, right, before mm. you were in school first time, Madison Marsh in the Air Force, give us a day in the life. So when I joined the Air Force, I went straight to the Air Force Academy. And so that was my first interaction with the military. And so it is very intense, but so worthwhile. I mean, most days, maybe you're up around 6 a.m. getting ready for those first calls in the morning because we do morning military calls to check the freshmen's uniforms, do updates for the day. You've got breakfast. I go to school all day. Um, I studied physics in undergrad, and so that was very intense wow. with the types of classes that I went to, all of the homework. I mean, the homework, we only had, I think we had nine physics majors, and one of, I was one of the two women that were in it. And so every single day, you are with those people trying to get help, figure out what you're doing, and then you go gym time, time for more homework, time for dinner, time for more homework, and then sleep.
Are you a real person? Come on. <laughs> Physics major, Air Force, Miss America, Taekwondo, incredibly devoted to important causes. You know, it, it does seem like, you know, that you've become this, you're a great role model, I have to Thank say, you. I think, for uh, people, women, people around the country. And you've actually talked about this in the context of women, mm -hmm. right? Talk to me about why you think your role, both in the Air Force and as Miss America, connect when it comes to gender. Yeah, so I, I mean, I just kind of look at all of the women that have come before me. I mean, think about the first woman that served in the military, that walked the, the hallways of the Air Force Academy, the first combat fighter pilots, pilots in general, all of these things, they have opened up the door for me. And I honestly think the military has done a fantastic job about including women and promoting them and trying to, you know, make their leadership just as the same. And so I hope that I also stand as a testament to other young women to prove that you can do it too, that you can serve as Miss America and Second Lieutenant Marsh, and they, are, they don't take away from one another. That's what I want other women to recognize. And they don't have to go the military route or even join pageants, but they can see maybe the different stereotypes that might play against one another and how you can break those, and that you have to enable yourself to pour into your passions and what you love in life, and with that, you can do anything.